welcome back to the channel the BMW here the ZHP guys and uh, we still have the traction light let me show you ABS light and flat tire light for some reason remember guys we took the suspension apart for the control arm okay and we had to disconnect the ABS sensor so let me let me show you okay when I start the car now okay check it out the lights will stay on so today guys we're gonna try to clear those diagnose the system see what's wrong if we need to replace something stay with us and let's go ahead and start on it now okay guys so we're using maxis with the programming device right here guys so uh we have we have many videos using that too amazing too if you're serious about car diagnostics i'll definitely recommend it so what we are going to do this is a wireless device we'll just connect it inside and uh, this one you can have it anywhere in the shop Okay, so let's go ahead, open the door, find the OBD port. Okay. And connect it. You're going to see two green lights when it's ready. Okay. I'm sorry guys for the mess. It's gonna be detailed today. We turn the key on, close the door, okay, just like that. And now what we are going to do, we'll go to diagnostics right here, okay. We'll check the VIN number, see if it can auto detect that. So it tells us what kind of vehicle it is on its own, so we don't spend any, any time, you know, wasting time trying to find it, especially being, okay, we'll have to. Because some uh, some American ones you have to find them by hand. BMWs that are assembled for the American market. Okay, BMW here. So now we need to locate E46. Okay, manual selection. If we enter the VIN number by hand, it's going to do it. Okay, E46. This one is a 330 CI. So let's take the time. 330 CI convertible right here. Okay, USA left hand drive. Okay, there. So we need to find, let me go find the date on the door. We need to see when it's made. Okay, 0605. So June of 2005. No, okay, let's see now. What's happening here? Okay, so we'll go this one right here. Yes, we confirm. Okay, we are almost there. And we just wait for it to connect now. It's gonna take a little bit of time. You can see battery voltage is 11.1 volts, uh, which is low. Okay, uh, we will need to charge the battery because we just drive it in and out of the shop now. Okay, diagnosis, let's go here. Control unit. And we're going to go to chassis, ABS, and traction control module. Let's see, guys, what kind of damage we have now. Okay, almost there. Hopefully it's nothing serious. We, we have a parts car, but... Okay, let's read the codes. I'm working on it now. Okay, not present, not present. Stingo, a steering angle sensor is the only present code that will cause our problem now. You can see those are not present, which means that the, uh, you can see the it lost communication with the steering angle sensor. So we are going to go ahead and reset those. Okay, and check out what's gonna happen next. Okay guys, so we are going to exit this menu and we are gonna go to erase codes. Yes. Okay, let's see. Codes have been successfully erased. Okay. Okay, let's read the codes and see if we have anything present now. Okay, steering angle sensor. That's the one that causes our problem. So most likely it's either a bad sensor or we'll need to calibrate the steering angle sensor. Let's check it out now and see what we need to do next. So next guys, we're gonna go to service, right here. And after that, we'll select chassis again. Okay, ABS, DSC. 
So now we need to go to find the sensors and we need to calibrate those. So let's see how that's gonna work. Hopefully that's gonna fix our problem and we don't need to replace anything. Adjustment sensors right here. So steering angle sensor, you can see this one. Okay, matching. So do you wish to carry out steering angle sensor matching? Yes, we confirm, that's our plan at least. Set wheels precisely in straight ahead position. Okay, everything's good. Steering wheel is pointing forward. So let's click OK. And sometimes it might take more than one try. At least in the past I had that experience. Uh, usually second, third one will work. Well, it worked first time. The matching procedure was carried out correctly. Perfect. So now we need to go ahead and turn the ignition off. Okay, let's turn it off. Okay, and let's turn it back on. Let's start the car now. No ABS lights, you can see guys, no traction control lights. So that fixed our problem guys. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, give us a like and let's grow that channel together. See you guys next time.